what I'll do is um, I'm going to let you see it for yourself for a minute and then uh, we're going to talk about it. And then please subscribe and visit RealCombatMedia.com. On this channel, I will be having um, exclusive press conference footage um, as well as official press conference footage. There's been a lot going on, but yes, what you're seeing right now is really happening. Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, May the 2nd, 2015. It's right now, May the, um, excuse me, March the 11th, 2015. And this is from the official press conference for uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live, and I cover every single major fight live. So let's talk about the details. First is going to be um, a joint broadcast. People are saying, well, who's going to be broadcasting the fight? Is it going to be two different pay-per-views? No. It's going to be one joint pay-per-view, HBO and Showtime. Um, standard definition is looking like it's going to be $89.95 and high definition $99.95. Um, there's only going to be one press conference. That was the press conference that is today. I'm going to have exclusive coverage for you right now. I'm doing this video live after the press conference. But as far as coverage and the full press conference, it's going to be on the channel within the next uh, three to six hours um, after this video. I'm um, T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. It's 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 it's. It's epic if it makes any, If it, it's no better way I can say it. You know, seeing something like this, you know, like seeing all these guys, when you got, um, when you got, oh God, fucking Justin Bieber. When you got Floyd Mayweather, when you got Leonard Ellaby, Manny Pacquiao, why, 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 do he, why does he need to be on the stage? See, that's the type of stuff that burns me up. It's like, yo, it's like this is boxing history. And it's like, why, you know, I'm, all right, I'm going to use the thumbnail, but I'm going to cut him out of each and every one of them. Because it's like, why you got to be on the stage? Stuff like that pisses me off. But um, as far as details have been announced, oh, wait, let's listen to Floyd. For a long time and have wanted uh, very much so. Explain that. Well, you know, a lot of times you hear certain things in the media. You hear certain things from the critics, the writers. That's not true. That's totally false. Um, we tried to make this fight happen in the past. Um, we kept bumping heads. You know, the teams kept bumping heads because of r random blood and urine testing. Then um, about being the A side and who's going to be the B side. So it was, it was a lot of problems in the past. And uh, we finally resolved everything. The team got on the same page and we made the fight happen. Give me the one thing for Floyd Mayweather that said, all right, let's do this fight. Put the fans' desire aside. Was there one thing, I read that it was that meeting you had in mind. What was the one thing for you that you said, let's do this? Well, everyone wants to keep talking about how this fight happened. This fight happened because of me. You know, it, this fight didn't happen because of Manny Pacquiao because I asked for the fight myself. Um, we had to choose an opponent for May. And I said, what better opponent did to choose and so we chose Pacquiao let's talk about motivation yeah uh, you saw the Super Bowl commercial he mocked you in the, in the commercial somehow oh, he's been avoiding me now he finally gonna <laughs> fight me uh, you heard Freddie Rhodes he said he's gonna kick your ass basically and he said that he was gonna knock you out in this fight uh -huh. when you heard that give me your motivation especially when people say ah oh, Floyd has avoided him for five years uh, give me your, your take when you hear that I just feel like everyone is entitled to their own opinion uh, my job is just to, to be Floyd Mayweather and stay focused on the positive things. Uh, when a fight presents itself, go out there and do what I do better. Let's go out there and win mm -hmm. and be smart. Does it upset you when you hear that? I don't focus on that. Yeah. You know, not at all. You know, I know what I, I know what I can do. You know, I know what I bring what I bring to the table. And I know what I bring to the sport of boxing. You know, to be the to the be, to be the face of the you know to be the face of boxing and to do so many record breaking things. You know, it's all about just staying relaxed and staying focused. My last question to you. I love it. A year ago when we were here, we talked yes. about Marcos Maidana. You said, I'm going to be right there. And you were in that first fight. You were right there. And it surprised a lot of people. And then the second fight we talked, you said, I'm going to make it easier. And you boxed it. And you did make it easier. What should we expect May 2nd? Uh, May 2nd, um, just expect us to have a brilliant game plan. And uh, to be the best that we can be, you know. You know, it's all about... Working hard in the gym, uh, listening, being smart, knowing your body, and then when it's time to go out there, we do we do what we do best. Best of luck to you, May second, man. Thank you. There it is. That's Floyd. Um, 
Now, let, let, let's just talk about a lot of things. Well, let's just talk about some things that you should know or you may not um, know. Um, yes, Steven Espinosa during the press conference did confirm that when, when Showtime first signed Mayweather to that deal, you know, of course, I didn't think they were going to sign him to that deal without saying, well, listen, are you going to give us Pacquiao? You know, now maybe, in my personal opinion, I thought that maybe he would have been trying to get out of um, um, fighting Pacquiao as far as the Showtime contract is concerned. But let's listen to Manny. Hey, uh, it's been many years that we've talked about you guys meeting. Before the press conference, you stared at each other for a good long time. Uh, did you say anything to each other? No. <laughs> How did it feel to just be up there finally at that stage, looking at him in the eyes? It's feel good, and you know, I'm ready. I'm his ready. Oh wait, I can show you all this. Been on a lot of big events, obviously. Uh, this must feel even bigger. How does this feel for you in terms of an event and what it means for boxing? It's been. This is um. um I have a very important fight and big, uh, big fight, and it's going to be a historic fight. When did you know in your heart that this fight was definitely going to happen? Last year, by November, I know that this fight will, will make it happen, by 2015. Is that because discussions had happened or because you felt you needed to really push it? You were very vocal after the Chris Algieri fight about making the fight happen. Yes, uh, I think I realized that I think um, it's it's time that um, I'm the one who's going to uh, uh, to announce it or fo push it uh, to, to make the fight happen. And it, and, and it, and it happened that um, coincidence in, 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 in Miami that we met uh, together. How big was that meeting in Miami? It felt as if that's what pushed all the negotiations forward. Is that true? It's helped a lot. It's helped a lot. But uh, uh, a big help for this uh, fight happen is uh, Showtime in uh, HBO. A lot of people had to come together. There was a lot of different things that had to be sorted out. Were you at all concerned that the negotiations would fall apart over some little detail? Or, you know, did you just put your faith in the process? Just uh, put the faith in process and agree what uh, what he wants to do and and <coughs> just to make the fight happen. And I'm agree with uh, 40, 60. Final question, Manny. We've been planning, waiting for this fight for five years. I know you've been thinking about fighting him for five years. Is the game plan the same now as it would have been in 2010, or has it changed a little bit? It's the same. It's the same. I mean, uh, it, it is the same, and then. More hard work uh, in training to make sure. And basically, what is the biggest danger that you face going up against a guy like Floyd Mayweather? He's a what, very good defensive fighter. What is the biggest? Um, I mean, what is the what is the biggest strength that he brings to the table that you have to overcome on May the second? Uh, he's a he's, he's a, he has a good uh, defense, but um, I, I'm not I, I'm not worried about that. I mean, I can easily uh, break that defense. Manny Pacquiao, thank you very much for your time and all the best on May the second. Boy, talk about like We're confident. Here, yeah, we have heard now. Talk about confident. I'm talking about it's crazy that he's just you know, um, but um, both uh both both sides the uh, Mayweather camp and also the the Pacquiao camp uh, acknowledge that Les Moonves played a big part. If you don't know, Les Moonves is the uh, CEO of um, CBS. Basically, he runs CBS and Showtime. And basically, he had a meeting with um, Al Heyman, the guy who advises Floyd Mayweather, who the guy who's the architect of Floyd Mayweather's career, and Bob Arum. And they sorted out all the issues as far as the networks were concerned. Then was up to Mayweather. Mayweather held out for as long as he can to get uh, the most money he possibly could as far as recent negotiations, even though a lot feel that he didn't want to fight. Me, my personal opinion is that is that he didn't have any choice but to take this fight. Yes, he may have wanted the fight, but did he want it right now? Me, personally, I do not think so. But, there's just put it this way. There's so much going on. There's so many details, you know, that still have to iron itself out. Like, right now, what I'm hearing is... There's going to be one episode of um of uh, HBO 24/7 solely focused on Manny Pacquiao, and one episode of All Access solely focused on uh, Floyd Mayweather. Um, what I'm going to start doing now is for the next um about seven eight hours or so 
It's going to be uh, Mayweather Pacquiao Central. So I'm going to be uploading. As you can see on the channel right now, I have some stuff on the channel. And um, uh, from Mayweather, I'm going to be uploading some uh, Pacquiao stuff, uploading the press conference, uploading some um, some um, exclusive interactions, some um, interviews. And you know what I've noticed is that I've always wanted to, you know, go to Mayweather Pacquiao, I guess as far as uh, my journey to being, you know, a member of the actual, of, of the media but now, since I can go and I know I can get into all the events associated, now, you know, I mean, I guess I completed my journey to an extent. So now it's just time to be, you know, continue the advancement as being um, the number one reporter on YouTube. And I just, you know, basically, just know that I got a lot more stuff coming. coming. Um, thank you to Showtime Boxing for the uh, footage, courtesy they allow me the, um, um, to use the footage. Um... Shout out to RealCombatMedia.com, Be Real TV, Hoop Jab, um, all the links to those to those um, um, shout outs I will put right down below. I'm T Street Controversy on Twitter. Link is right below. T Street Controversy on Facebook. T Street Controversy on Shots. T Street Controversy on Instagram. I cover every single major fight live. Go ahead. Go check the videos. And I do all of it live and uncut. T Street Controversy. T Street Controversy live.